We now know that Din Djarin is taking Grogu to a planet named Tython in hopes of using a seeing stone to call out to a Jedi who will then find Grogu and train him. Now, we've already covered what Tython is and its significance in Star Wars history, but there's another question begging to be answered. What Jedi will train him, and have we perhaps seen them before? I have four possibilities as to who that mysterious Jedi might be, and I'm going to rank them based off the likelihood they actually show up to train Grogu. Number four, Quinlan Voss. Are you finished messing around? We're trying to catch Zero, remember? This one would be way out of left field, but as far as we know, it is possible. It was confirmed in issue number seven of the Darth Vader comic that this Jedi Master survived Order 66, though we haven't seen him since around the time of Revenge of the Sith. He was stationed on Kashyyyk during you know. He's a quirky, humorous character with a dark streak, and was one of the most beloved Jedi in Legends before it was scrapped. So while I definitely wouldn't expect it to be him, it certainly is an intriguing possibility. Number three, Cal Kestis. You can't stop the Empire! I can stop you. Might it be perhaps an older Cal Kestis that arrives to train Grogu? Maybe if he's still alive. Cal became a fan favorite after taking center stage in the surprise hit video game Jedi Fallen Order. We saw him grow from guilt-ridden Padawan who had shunned the Force to a Jedi Knight who had rediscovered his faith in both himself and in the Force. Grogu seems to be going through a similar transformation, if Ahsoka is to be believed, so who better to train him than someone who's been there before? However, a big reason I could see it not being Cal is because I think it's possible that Lucasfilm will leave his story entirely to the inevitable Fallen Order sequels. Plus, knowing he survives all the way until The Mandalorian may take some of the thrill out of the games for fans when they do come out. Number 2. Luke Skywalker Easily the most well-known name on this list. We know for sure that Luke is around and active during this time period, as he's likely preparing to begin his Jedi Academy, which... uh will totally work out. But is it possible that it'll be Luke who finds Grogu on Tython? Of course it is. He will be looking for potential pupils after all. Though I shudder to think of what will ultimately happen to Grogu if Luke does take him to be trained. No! Honorable mention. I know, I know, I said there were only four, but I got to thinking and well, what if it's Barriss Offee? We haven't seen Barriss since the end of Season 5 of The Clone Wars, and Dave Filoni has gone on record saying that he has plans for Barriss. She's definitely not a Jedi anymore, but Din Djarin wouldn't know that. She could easily deceive him and take Grogu to be trained as a Jedi. Now wouldn't that just be wild? Number 1, Ezra Bridger. I don't fear you. Then you will die braver than most. If I was a betting man, I'd probably put money on Ezra being the one to train Grogu. It just seems like that's where this could be headed, especially with Ahsoka looking for Thrawn. Last we saw Thrawn, he was being kidnapped by Ezra and some space whales. So it wouldn't be a stretch to believe that if Thrawn was going to show up sooner or later, then so was Ezra. He would definitely be a fitting master for Grogu, as he really wisened up in the final season of Star Wars Rebels, and he's probably likely gotten more wise in the time since. I think Ezra and Grogu would be an interesting pair, that's for sure. Which one of these Jedi would you want to see train Grogu? Is there someone else that it could be? Let me know down in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe, we're marching on to 1000 subscribers so that we can get that sweet, sweet community tab. Anyway, thanks for watching folks, I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the future.